One of the reasons for creating this training course is to make you aware of the importance of understanding basic operating skills. These basic skills must be properly exercised every time you operate a mini hydraulic excavator. One of the fundamentals of safe operation is knowing how to properly enter the excavator. Watch as this operator enters the cab. He faces toward the machine as he enters it and uses three-point contact, two hands and a foot, or two feet and a hand at all times. Never use the controls as handles. Once in the cab, he eases himself into the seat. Before starting the excavator, you must do the following. Adjust the seat and adjustable wrist rests for comfort. Fasten the seat belt. Make sure the hydraulic control console is in the raised position. The blade control lever and joysticks are in the hold or neutral position. That no one is standing in the work area. And that the engine speed control is set to the medium idle speed position. You're now ready to start the excavator using the instructions found in your operation and maintenance manual. After the engine starts, reduce engine speed to low idle and allow the engine to warm up for at least five minutes. During the warm up, look at the monitoring panel to make sure all excavator systems are functioning properly. Read your operation and maintenance manual for a detailed explanation of each gauge and indicator. Lower the hydraulic control console to activate the hydraulic control system. During the initial warm-up period, intermittently engage and disengage the work tool controls with the engine at low idle, medium idle, and high idle. It's a good idea to cycle the hydraulic system before putting the excavator to work. Run the boom, bucket, stick, and blade through a complete cycle to make sure the system is operating properly. In a moment, you'll be going outside to practice these safe operation basics. But before you leave, we need to talk about parking the excavator. As you approach the place where you'll park the machine, reduce the engine speed. Bring the excavator to a complete stop on level ground. Park the machine on boards in freezing conditions to help prevent the tracks from freezing to the ground. When the travel controls are moved to the stop or neutral position, braking is initiated and the machine stops. Now lower the blade and then extend the stick and bucket. Lower the boom until the bucket or work tool is resting on the ground. Raise the hydraulic control console. Run the engine for five minutes at low idle to avoid engine overheating. Stop the engine and remove the key. Move controls to relieve any working pressure. Make sure the foot controls are covered. Release the seat belt and exit the cab using the grab handles as you did to get in, facing the machine. Always use three-point contact, two hands and a foot or two feet and a hand at all times as you exit the machine. Never jump off the machine or use the controls as handles. Never under any circumstances leave the operator's seat while the engine is running. Accidents can happen like bumping a steering lever. 